Bill Newcott and I'm here in Avalon on Catalina Island, about 30 miles from Los Angeles. And because it's so close to Hollywood, they've been making movies here almost as long as they've been making movies in Hollywood. We'll take a look at some of the classic films that were made here. Plus, we'll take a look at some of the new movies coming to theaters now on our podcast, Movies for the Rest of Us. In the mid-1940s, a newlywed teenager came out here from Los Angeles to live on Catalina Island with her husband, and she got a job here pulling taffy at Lloyd's Candy Store. The folks here in Catalina called her Norma Jean Baker. You know her as Marilyn Monroe. And Marilyn lived right here at 310 Metropole Avenue. Hi, Peter. I haven't heard from you in a while, so I thought I'd give you a call. Um, that's it. I love you. It's your mother. Is it too early to talk about next year's Best Actress Oscar? Because pencil in Julianne Moore for her stunning performance in Gloria Bell, playing a woman looking for love and meaning in the sterile, sun-bleached wasteland of Los Angeles. John Turturro plays Gloria's current Mr. Wright, and he's just right, even though this particular Mr. Wright is all wrong. I love you, you understand? Get away from the car! Wait, Gloria! One, two, three! Moore has the saddest smile in the movies, and that makes Gloria Bell's triumphant fade out all the more satisfying. More than 225 movies were made in Catalina during the silent era, most notably Buster Keaton's 1924 classic, The Navigator. He made it right out there in Avalon Harbor, towing a condemned passenger ship into the cove as his movie set. And he sat there for nearly 10 weeks, so you can imagine how unhappy the local yacht owners were. Hi, I'm Francis, and I'll be your waitress for the evening. No, I can't do this. Are you a child? No, you the child. You need a mother to hold you. Don't you dare talk to me about my mother. She had to die. Isabelle Huppert is galvanizing as a seemingly sweet old lady who becomes obsessed with a young Manhattan woman, played by Chloe Grace Moretz, in the new thriller, Greta. We connected. It's one of those movies where you want to yell, don't open that door to the screen. I even yelled at the trailer. I have a bag that I found that I think belongs to Greta. It's dangerous. Oh, would you like a cup of coffee? You've no, don't go, don't go in there. Don't go. Where are the candles? Uh, in the cabinet. Don't look in the cabinet. Don't look in the cabinet. Ugh, she looked in the cabinet. What? She's crazy. She's insane. Get out of there right now. Get out of there them? right now. <laughs> Catalina Island is the home of the Glass Bottom Boat. This is the first place they ever were, and now they're everywhere. In 1966, Doris Day and Rod Taylor and Arthur Godfrey made a movie here called The Glass Bottom Boat. In fact, it was right here on Lover's Cove where Rod Taylor first hooked Doris Day's mermaid bottom. I'm talking to you, that's my suit on your line. Well, it's all tangled. Why don't you come aboard and I'll untangle it for you. Well, that's a little difficult too, since I'm bottomless. Oh. The legendary Western writer Zane Grey lived out here on Catalina. And in 1925, he convinced a producer to make a Western out here based on his novel, The Thundering Herd. Trouble was, there wasn't any Thundering Herd out here at the time, so they had to import 14 bison, not fiberglass guys like this, but a real life bison. And they made the film up in the mountains here. For the bison, it was a one-way ticket. They didn't go back. They stayed here, they were fruitful and multiplied. And soon there were like 600 bison on this island. Today there were about 120. When you think about it, we've only seen a handful of minutes of film for the 1969 Apollo 11 lunar mission. A spectacular new documentary, Apollo 11, draws from hundreds of hours of footage shot by the astronauts and blows it up with startling vividness on the big screen. See Apollo 11 and see it in the biggest theater you can find. Jack Nicholson's Jake Geddes came ashore here in Chinatown, but that was about the last time Catalina played a major role in a big Hollywood movie. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. And that's our podcast. For more on the movies, come to SaturdayEveningPost.com slash movies. And for all my reviews, interviews, and videos, come to my website, MoviesForTheRestOfUs.com. For the Saturday Evening Post from Catalina Island, I'm Bill Newcott. Oh,
Bilder. 